hello to all car lovers. Back when Infinity first appeared on the scene, it did so with advertising that showed images of jewels and trees rather than BS, as the brand deliberated on the meaning of luxury. That temperamental, esoteric approach proved not so grand at emotional the essence. But Infinity might do well to reflect on the conception of luxury previously again if it wants to upraise its products and love the lately remade QX60, beyond those of fleetly gentrifying mainstream brands. For its 2022 redesign, the Infinity QX60 ditched the amorphous, blob-like form speech inherited the JX in favor of a tauter, more modern appearance. It looks love a baby Range Rover, said a companion looking at the rear quarter view, and you could nearly look the QX blushing with pride. The contrast color roof is a not-so-subtle nod to Range Rover and is exclusive to the top-spec autograph version. Which, presently that we mention it, sounds suspiciously similar to Range Rover's fancy autobiography trim. Below the skin, the Infinity Soul engine is unchanged. The 3.5-liter V6 again delivers 295 horsepower on its diet of premium fuel, versus 284 horses in the Nissan Pathfinder, which drinks regular. The off-road focused Pathfinder Rock Creek also produces 295 horses on premium, despite unchanged output, this engine is reinvigorated presently that it's number longer shackled to a continuously variable transmission but is instead paired with a 9-speed automatic. The ZF sourced gearbox snaps off crisp downshifts, more eagerly in sport mode, and eliminates the droning and slurred response of the previous QX60. As before, front-wheel drive is standard, though our test example had all-wheel drive. This combo hustled the QX60 to 60 mph in 6.2 seconds, a significant improvement over the previous Gen 7.1 seconds, it also dispatched the quarter mile in 14.9 seconds. Those times nose past the Acura NDX, 6.4 seconds to 60, a 15.1 second quarter mile, and also the Pathfinder which hits 60 miles per hour in 6.6 seconds and pushes through the quarter mile in 15.2. That said, this engine's torque peak of 270 pound-feet does not come until 4,800 revolutions per minute, and the 3.5 liter reveals its gritty nature in the tox upper reaches. The QX60 is quieter than the Pathfinder, though, and cruises at 67 decibels at 70 miles per hour, despite an annoying wind whistle around the side mirrors. We might have expected a decline in fuel economy with the departure of the continuously variable transmission, but ditching the CVT has resulted in a number of genuine penalty. EPA estimates for the new QX60 are 21-26 mpg with front-wheel drive and 20-25 mpg with AWD, both 1 mpg better in the city and 1 mpg lower on the highway than before. In our 75 mile per hour real world fuel economy test, the QX60 returned 24 mpg, which bests the MDX and the Cadillac XT6, both 22 mpg, but was 4 mpg below the Pathfinder's result. The QX60 lacks adaptive dampers or air springs, hardware that's common among premium brand SUVs in this segment. Instead, its chassis largely mirrors that of the Pathfinder, except that Infinity does not bother with an off-road setup, a la the Pathfinder Rock Creek. The upper trims feature 20-inch rolling stock, while the base version gets 18-inch wheels. Those larger wheels can translate some impact harshness, which a more sophisticated suspension might be better able to filter out, and we also well-known objective bit of head toss. Do not see for a sporty variant, as offered by Acura, BMW, and Cadillac, that's not portion of the program either. The QX60 is less athletic than the MDX, the X5, or the XT6, but it still acquitted itself well on the skid pad. We measured 0.85 grams of lateral grip with Hankook Dynapro HP2 all-season rubber. Stopping 70 miles per hour required a reasonable 171 feet. The QX60 lacks adaptive dampers or air springs, hardware that's common among premium brand SUVs in this segment. Instead, its chassis largely mirrors that of the Pathfinder, except that Infinity does not bother with an off-road setup, a la the Pathfinder Rock Creek. 
The upper trims feature 20-inch rolling stock, while the base version gets 18-inch wheels. Those larger wheels can translate some impact harshness, which a more sophisticated suspension might be better able to filter out, and we also well known an objective bit of head toss. Do not see a sporty variant, as offered by Acura, BMW, and Cadillac, that's not a portion of the program either. The QX60 is less athletic than the MDX, the X5, or the XT6 but it still acquitted itself well on the skid path. We measured 0.85 grams of lateral grip with Hankook Dyna Pro HP2 all-season rubber. Stopping 70 miles per hour required a reasonable 171 feet. Pro Pilot Assist, with stop-and-go capability, is included in all but the base model. Its lane centering feature seems less polished than some competitors, though, with the QX60 sometimes hugging the lane markers on one side or the other, love an unsure newbie driver. Excellent thing, then, that the steering is decently weighted and responsive. The interior, the dash, the door panels, the middle console, is nicely finished, and the top spec autograph brings quilted stitching on the seats and dash pad. But the space lacks the artistry of the original Q45, or today's beginning SUVs, which would assist thrust the QX clearly into a higher tier than the also nice Pathfinder. Predictably, the redo brings more and larger screens. Upper trims have a digital instrumentation display, and the previous 8.0-inch touchscreen gives way to a 12.3-inch unit. Apple CarPlay is wireless, although Android Auto requires a cord. Wireless charging is standard. The rotary controller is retained but moves the dash to the console. Knobs with knurled edges control interior temperature and audio volume, although there are several tuning knobs here as there are in the Pathfinder. Climate controls are haptic touch and necessity a determined push. USB ports are sprinkled generously throughout the cabin, and a panoramic sunroof is standard. Passengers in the second and third rows sit slightly higher than those in front. Only the autograph has second row captain's chairs, lesser versions obtain a three-person bench, which is less than ideal for separating warring siblings. The third row is tight and less second row passengers exhibit mercy and slide their seats forward. Access to the third row is easy, though, with a thrust button that tilts and slides the second row seats out of the way. The new QX60 effectively covers the bases as a three-row family hauler. However, even fully kitted out, with a digital rearview mirror, a head-up display, and a 360-degree view monitor, there's not much here that cannot be found in a top-trim Kia Telluride or Hyundai Palisade. Either of those would be $10,000 less than our test car's $68.390 sticker. Then there's the closely related Pathfinder, which tops out around the QX60 starts, just over $50.000, and is nearly as luxurious. The QX60's core competencies are much improved, but Infinity needs to reach further to cement this model's premium brand bona fides. Maybe it'll assist to gaze at some rocks and trees. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy my videos, please press subscribe to my channel, click the like button and leave a comment. This is my motivation for recording new videos.